In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create and manage your applications on Alphabot. Now, you set up an application just like you would set up a regular raffle, uh, which is by, you know, logging into Alphabot, uh, going to the website and then clicking on new raffle right here. Um, if for whatever reason, this option here to select the application is not available for you, then it means that you don't have an active subscription on that team um, and applications are limited to teams with subscriptions. Setting up a application is very similar to setting up a raffle as you know it. Um, and we're going to just run through this together uh, right here. Now, in my case, I do have show all fields enabled here on the top right. It's just a little easier to uh, to see what's going on. And let's get started with the first field here um, and just start with the uh, name and URL right there. We'll call it test application. We'll give it a uh, five winners. Uh, it doesn't really matter anyway for now. And we'll just set a start and end date time of next week. There you go. Now, visibility is just the same as, as with raffles. This is just determines the visibility of the application in this case on our platform. So if you only want your community uh, based on Discord membership to see this on their dashboard, you would uh, tick my community only again, just like with uh, with the raffles. If you uh, only want the um, application to be accessible using the URL, then you would select private. Uh, or you can make it publicly visible to all communities and well, basically any user on the platform by selecting this option. Now we're going to make it private right now just because it's a test project data source exactly like you would do with a raffle. You would just select it right there. And of course, as you can see, auto add follow requirement has automatically added the uh, Twitter requirement there. We're just going to disable this uh, because, well, we're just doing a, uh, a quick test here. It automatically prefills the banner URL for you. Uh, you can also exclude previous winners. If you disable that, people who've won for that project before can uh, can enter this, this application. You can hide the entry count if you don't want people to see how many uh, entries your application has got. Description works exactly the same way as with the raffles as well. You can use a GitHub Markdown to dress up your description a little bit. Use some different styling and images. Auto finalize auto announce uh, works the same way with the raffles um, as here, which you can use here as well. Now, of course, the whole approval process is a little bit different uh, with entries and, and winners, right? You're about to see that in uh, in the next step. Now you can show or hide the uh, team and, and project avatars, right? We will just hide the uh, the team avatar because, well, as you can see, there's, there's no image there. Uh, you can use style overrides uh, and this one is not to be confused with the description style overrides uh, allows you to basically reskin the entire page of the raffle. A great example of this is Momoguro. They restyled their applications to match their branding. Now these two fields are also the same as with the raffles, right? Private info and public info for winners basically gives you the ability to share some additional info with the winners of the application. Direct the contract is just a label, of course. Uh, where you can let the winner or the entrance in general know whether their wallet address will be added by you or by uh, the collab partner directly to the contract, right? Or if left disabled, so not enabled, then it would mean that the winner would still have to submit their own wallet um, at some point during wallet collection. Now, this award invite codes field is also the same as with the raffles, right? Um, it just allows you to award or basically uh, give invite codes to the winners of, of a raffle or in this case of the application, you would put input a list which is line or comma separated uh, and these codes would then be automatically awarded to the winners. Now let's get into the actual application part here, which is the questions, right? In the application, you can set up questions. Uh, there's two types of questions here. You've got free form, uh, which is just an open text field where people can enter uh, enter text. Uh, or multiple choice. So free form, let's set up a uh, test question one. We'll add another question and we'll do multiple choice here. So test question two. And this is uh, option one. And you've got room for a title and a description, right? If you want um, some, some extra text, so we'll just put lorem ipsum. Add another option, option two and so forth. You can add uh, multiple options there. And um, yeah, that's it for the questions right there. So um, these questions will be displayed on the, the application page for the end user. And that information will then be uh, shown to you on the back end 
and allows you to uh, consider that in your application process. Now down here we have the winner image generator, right? So built into this application system is the ability to upload an image. And then as soon as somebody wins or gets selected rather for the application, they would then uh, automatically have a image generated for them using their Twitter PFP and customized text. So let's upload a base image here. I'll just take a random image. And as you can see, it automatically fills in. I Twitter name was selected for this application. You can customize this so you can change the font size and the text box box width here. So for example, if you want it to be wider, uh, you can do so as well. And let's change the color of the text just so it actually shows up. And here you can include the PFP avatar, right? And it's very just click and click and drag just like that. You can change the sizing of them as well. Of course, here it doesn't look that good because, well, it's just a random image, right? Uh, but you could basically customize this to your liking. Uh, you can remove the image as well or replace it with a different one. All right. So on top, uh, the requirements part is uh, pretty much the same as with the raffles besides one option, um, you know, email connect wallet. And then if you enable that, you also have to select the, uh, the blockchain, of course, uh, because it will then collect the wallets for you. Uh, and you can also set the wallet requirements. So you can say, well, you need at least this amount of ETH in a wallet in, a, in order to be able to enter this application, or you need an NFT from a specific contract uh, address. Now connect discord, as you know, uh, you're able to select uh, discord requirements. So you can say you have to be in the Alphabot discord, or you can say uh, exclude you should not be in an Alphabot discord, right? Uh, which basically just excludes anybody who is from entering. You can select rules as well, um, where you can add them like this. And of course, if you have multiple servers that you want to set requirements for, you can do so as well here. So if we do a list, there we go. And we set another role here, we say uh, Alphabot, there you go. I've got two roles. But of course, we're not actually trying to do that. You can also just enable connect discord. Uh, because again, if you don't enable anything, it won't um, c uh, collect that data for you. So you're going to want to, uh, you know, at least tick the box in order to collect that data. Now the option here, which isn't in raffles is require application invite code. And this allows you to uh, automatically distribute new invite codes to winners of the uh, application, right? Or selected um, uh, entries basically. And you can manage the invite codes here. You can search by code, Discord ID, name, or wallet. And you can also just generate a bunch of new codes there as well. Now in this test team, I don't have the Discord bot set up, um, but just like with the regular raffles, you'd be able to have the announcement uh, channel to basically send the application as a nice embedded style message. Um, but also the winner's channel, of course, where you can specify uh, which channel uh, you would send in the uh, winner announcements, right? Again, so if you uh, accept somebody's application, it would send a nice message there. We can now click on save and view, which will publish the application for us. And then now people are able to actually enter the application. As you can see, the layout is a little bit different, right? On a regular raffle, the tasks would be on the right. In the case of an application, it's, uh, it's switched around. So let's just enter this uh, really quick with a couple tests inputs and you'll be able to see what this actually looks like from the user perspective, right? Your application has been submitted. You can undo your submission as well. Now from the backend side as the Ravel creator, you would then see the application come in right here. And then you can review the application by clicking on this button, which would then show you the questions and the answers from the user. So you can see I selected option one with the description. Now you can see my socials here, right? Uh, you can take a look at my Discord and the Twitter that I submitted along with the wallet. Um, and you can actually go ahead and approve the application uh, or ignore it. Now there's also room for a custom response where you could say uh, whatever you want. Let's say well done. And we can then go ahead and actually approve the application here. Now that has now been uh, approved. And then as the end user, when I go back to that raffle, it then shows your application was approved. Congratulations. Right. And then that's a standard message. And then that's the custom response that we put in. Now it also shows me which wallet address I submitted and it then allows me to tweet the, the, the win. But what you can also see here is the banner that we generated before with the custom fields. 
And if I were to click on tweet your win, uh, it will also uh, post that basically. Now and then back on the entries page here, of course, as the project, you might want to announce the approval as well, which you can then do as well here by clicking on again on, on review application, uh, but then in the winners part, and you're able to actually click on tweet approval. Now you can also update this response here if you wish, and it will then also show you which team member actually approved the application as well, right? If you've got multiple team members managing the application, you might want to keep track of who approves who. All right, that is all that there is to it to the applications. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you on getting started with your first application. Uh, if you do have any more questions or need any help, don't hesitate to join our Discord and open a support ticket. We've got an amazing 24-7 support team uh, there ready for you. All right, thank you for watching.